Hey folks, I've had some people ask me about um, this photo box that I made. Some of you saw a picture that probably looks something like this. And instead of trying to describe it over and over again, I thought I'd shoot a video to show you how this was made. First of all, let me just say that this box is too small. It's my first version of it. If I was to make another version, I would make it much bigger, much, uh, probably much wider. It doesn't need to be any taller. It just didn't give me a lot of wiggle room from the left to the right. It's basically constructed uh, out of a metal angle iron frame uh, that I got at Lowe's. And the sides and the top are that clear uh, plastic that um, goes in the ceiling tiles of fluorescent lights in, in buildings, in uh, industrial buildings. And I just cut it to shape. Now what that does is, is I put my lights on the outside of the box. And what these tiny, tiny little lenses do um, is it refracts and it diffuses the light. And the light, in my case, is coming from the outside. So I have these little flashes in three locations. I have one here, and it's shining in this side. I have one up here, and it's shining down through the top. And then I have one here that's shining through this side. Now, most people as photographers won't have these flashes like this. They're gonna have regular lights, light bulbs, LEDs, or whatever. But, the, you know, these flashes are, are stronger, better, and sharper, and cleaner. But you could use other lights as well. Um, so my recommendation is to not put lights on the inside of the box or you're gonna get some pretty ugly shadows. Put them on the outside and let that light hit the outside and it'll diffuse the light and it'll be much better quality of light. My other tip would be to make sure that you use the same bulbs for each of your lights so that your colors um, are all the same. Now, my inside is uh, seamless. You can see there's no seam where the back wall hits the floor. That is just a piece of formica, like a countertop material that's bendable, so it's really thin. And again, I just cut it to shape and um, it creates that really nice seamless background. And of course also it's nice to clean up when the bird poops, which this one hasn't yet, I'm surprised, but he probably will very soon. Now, I don't like, as I said, I don't use lights, but I do use this light um, just on the top to help illuminate. It's actually not doing anything when I'm taking the pictures because my other lights will, will overpower it, but it helps me see and it helps me focus. And what I'm gonna do now is um, I'm gonna turn off my overhead light here and um, shouldn't make a big difference. Um, now in the room that I'm in, it's fairly dark and the bird can't see out very well. So he's gonna be more interested in staying put. The few, the few things that I have on hand, uh, paper towels to help clean up a mess. And my next tool that I use is the stick with a coat hanger on the end of it. It's all it is is a hook. And this bird I'm not gonna mess with because he's actually in a pretty good position and he's staying put and I like that, but most of the time they don't do this. Vast majority of the time they don't do this. Uh, but I'll use this hook and instead of my hand because they don't like the hands, but they are not afraid of this hook. And I can grab the, the bird by its tail and just kind of pull it towards me. And I can basically move the bird around inside the box uh, with that hook and he doesn't freak out. So anyway, uh, I'll take a few pictures. Let's see if I can show you the camera that I'm using. This is the camera that I'm using. It's a Canon R6. It's a mirrorless camera. And I have a flash on top, which actually, again, is not doing anything, but it is actually serving as a trigger for my other flashes. So when I take a picture, it actually is just using these optical slaves to trigger the other flashes. So there we go. Um, that's how my box is set up. It takes an enormous amount of time to try to get a good picture. It takes a lot of patience. And you can see that he's already starting to climb up the wall. And there he goes. He's, he's laid his first one for me there that I got to clean up. But he's actually fairly relaxed in here. A lot of them are not. And there's a lot of times, I would say 50% of the time, where I actually don't get a picture um, that I feel is acceptable. And I just move on. <laughs>